screaming and crying, crying the whole night long. Screaming and crying, crying the whole night long. Well, I love my baby, but I did my baby wrong. Writing plenty letters, sending telegrams through the air. Writing plenty letters, sending telegrams through the air. Well, I love my baby, but she's uh, in this world somewhere. Writing plenty letters, sending telegrams to the air. Writing plenty letters, sending telegrams to the air. Well, I love my baby, but I'm in this world somewhere. Welcome to Blues Harmonica. We're here with Andy Santana tonight. My name's George Brandau, and our co-host is Christina Kahn. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, a little bit about Andy's career, his CDs got out, where he's touring, and things like that. And we're also going to be covering uh, the history of the harmonica, give you a little education while we're at it. And we're going to also talk about some of the health benefits you can get from playing the harmonica. And then we're also going to have a harmonica lesson here live on TV, Christina's first harmonica lesson. So sit back, enjoy the show, and I want to introduce Andy Santana. Thank you for having me here. A pleasure. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Andy? Uh, I'm a Taurus. I like uh, <laughs> long walks in the park. And uh, No, actually, uh, um, I was born in San Jose, uh, All here right. in this me area. Too. Local boy. And, uh, uh, but raised in Hawaii, home of the blues, as you know. Uh, wow. <laughs> well, you know, not really. It was later on that I actually got, in fact, uh, while I was in Hawaii, you know, I, I got lucky enough to hear some blues music, uh, but mostly British blues, and it led me to the to the real blues, you know. So, uh, Butterfield. That's probably kind of stiff. No, no, the, the, excuse me? It was kind of stiff. No, no, there was no? some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, oh, and I mean, okay. I mean, because you know, John Mayall, uh, uh, you know, he, you know, he had Jimmy Page and all kinds of really oh. great, 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 you know, uh, uh, players. In, uh, uh, Peter Green, uh, mm. an amazing guitar player, amazing blues guitar, really, really an amazing guitar player, and uh, that stuff led me back to the blues. And so, oh, wow. um, so what, how old were you when you started playing? Well, I, you know, I started very late. Um, I got my first harmonica when I was about uh, 25, mm -hmm. and um, a, a dear friend of mine um, uh, said, you need some music, and handed me a harmonica as a birthday gift, mm -hmm. and uh, she, she lives in some place around in the Bay Area. I haven't seen her for many years, but I really thank her for giving me that, because it yeah. really did help. You know, having music is, is a wonderful thing, you know. Um, sure. What kind of harp was it? 
Uh, it was a horn or harp. It was, uh, you know, I didn't know what to do with it at first. You know, I mean, I, I it wasn't until years later that I, I actually decided to take it uh, serious, seriously, and I uh, started to practice. Uh, you know, I was putting in eight, nine hours a day for about a year the first year. Holy and then smoke. probably, you know, three or four hours a day. For about Jeez. three years, I went nuts. Yeah? Yeah. You that know? must have interfered with the day job. Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you have dimples before you started playing no, the harmonica? No, I did not. In fact, you know, I, I know that uh, a lot of people, uh, that's one of those, uh, it, it could be a detriment, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, you get dimples if you, well, that's not true, okay. <laughs> but no, you don't get dimples if, if you play. That's the truth. Oh, <laughs> that's too bad. I really thought you could actually form, from, form dimples from blowing. Well, I don't have them. Um, but do you blow? Well, I mean... I, <laughs> So anyway, um, <laughs> why don't you tell us a little bit about your harps, harmonicas? Well, I have several different kinds here, but right now what you see here, you probably see a whole array of harmonicas. I have them in different keys, and that's part of part of what uh, um, uh, my particular genre of music dictates. Uh, I play a, a diatonically scaled harmonica. In other words, uh, it's it only has um, if you take uh, for simplicity's sake, let's say you take the key of C on a on a piano. Mm -hmm. If you see all the white. Uh, all the white keys, white keys. Are, do re mi fa sol la ti do. Yeah. That's those are the notes that 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 are di in, in the diatonic scale. Mm. The black notes, which are are the the sharps and flats. If you were to add all those, which this this harmonica doesn't have, um, uh, you would get sharps and flats, and, and that's a different kind of a harmonica. You, it's called a chromatic. It's a larger harmonica. It has a little button on the side where you can get your sharps and flats. Mm. Um, so. Diatonic, did you say? This is a di diatonically scaled harmonica. And chromatics. And chromatic. Because the difference between another uh, uh, significant di difference between the two harmonicas is that the, these allow you to. Uh, they didn't intend it when, when they did it first designed these harmonicas, but it allows you to to bend notes, which you can't. Mm. You can do a little bit of that on a chromatic, but not very. They're not set up for that. Uh, in other words, a bend note is. It's the same note I'm drawing on, but I'm getting two notes out of it. And I get three notes if I want to, you know. You know, and that's just all drawing right there on, oh. on the whole two draw. So, yeah. I mean, because normally the fundamental note is, but I'm getting two other notes by bending it. It's a technique that in blues, especially this genre of music that we're doing, you have to master that in order to, you don't have is to. That, is that like a... Going a, a flat or a sharp, in yeah, between a note. Yeah, I can get. I can get. Uh, well, <clears throat> one of the main reasons is that between holes one and four, you got an incomplete scale. You have the four and the six on the scale. In other words, do re mi fa, do oh, re mi yeah. fa is missing. Do re mi fa sol la, and la mm. is missing between holes one and four. So I can get that by going. So I got. I bent huh. two notes in order to get those two notes that weren't there. Yeah. Now, um, what, what about like when you're playing clubs and stuff? You have to have like. I notice you have an amplifier here. Yes. Are we? Are, do you use this particular type of mic microphone with the harmonica? Yes, I or? do. Yeah. Well, um, uh, in the uh, late '40s, early '50s, uh, there were uh, there was this uh, harmonica player, a uh, legendary harmonica player named uh, Little Walter. Mm -hmm. He uh, was he uh, reigned from Chicago. Uh, and he basically s uh, um, set the set the stage for for almost all the harmonica players uh, that were uh, playing uh, amplified harmonica. He took he took an amp like this, mm -hmm. and I, he may not have been the first one, but he but he 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 was one of the guys that that, that took an amp and took a, this special mic I have here. That this mic yeah. here is is that, is, is that plugged in? Yes, it is. Good, because we're going to have you play a little for us All in, right, a, just, in a minute. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, this this particular mic is it's called a bullock mic. These were like uh, like uh, uh, you'd find them, uh, uh, you know, in in taxi, you know, um, uh, well, or or no like uh, truck drivers, or whatever. Yeah, 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 those kinds, you know. And they're not really clear, you know. They don't have that kind of this this uh, mic will is much more. Uh, Articulate, you know, you can hear the, you know, um, it's, got, it's got a full range. This has yeah. a, a narrower range, but it gets a certain tone. Well, let's hear it. Okay, you got yeah, it. Yeah, right on. And just give you just a little bit of this. Make sure, is it on? Yes, it is. Okay. It's going to be a little bit loud, but not too loud. Oh, let me get this key. Okay. <laughs> See, it's got a much deeper tone it's, it, than you can produce doing this. 
cupping this microphone gives it a deeper tone, and you get this kind of tone that cuts through a band. You know, when you're playing with with a band in this particular genre of music that I'm doing, you know, you know, we got electric guitars, we got electric bass, we got a drummer that's going nuts. You know yeah. about that, yeah. and uh, <laughs> so the, the the levels kind of go up, but but there's a, a different energy in it mm. than just playing acoustically. So what's what's the difference between playing the bullet mic and playing the the uh, 57 there? Well, the 57 again is is is, is uh, it's, it's great for vocals because it's clear and, and it you know and it has a a, a, um, a, a much larger bandwidth, uh -huh. whereas this one is kind of narrow. It just my voice sounds very boxy in this. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? See what I'm saying? It doesn't oh, okay. sound, it doesn't have that all the all the you know the uh, the frequency range that this one has. Okay. So, uh, can it, you imitate a train with that? I here? can do. Well, yes, I can. I, I can. Isn't that what? Why, why don't you go go ahead and, and perform for us? Do some, well, well, okay. I'll do a little bit of. The, work uh, it out. On this work one. It out. On this yeah. one. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Took my baby away. The mean old train that took my baby away. The same black train gonna bring her back someday. get the idea nice. see so that's uh that's uh, uh you know there's uh, one of the things about harmonica when, when they first uh um uh you know they the, it was an easy instrument to carry around it was cheap and and um it was uh, a big after world war ii weren't they they were really Everybody big but, was... but even before that i mean they, these these were, were were uh made i think the first one was made in 18 uh, or no actually uh Earlier than the, the early 1800s, I think, that uh -huh. they were first being made. Yeah. And we'll talk more about that later. Okay, very good. How about, uh, why don't we get into doing a little lesson for Christina here? She's been dying to uh, do something here. I know it. Okay. Okay. Well, um, actually, my friend was bringing up different instruments, and I mentioned to him that I kind of wanted to play the harmonica because it's something I could do when I get older in case I'm ever disabled and I need to know how to do something. And I thought, you know what? This might be something that I might want to start now because I could definitely do it later. So, well, uh, uh, earlier, you know, we, we kind of went over, uh, she started to learn the, uh, a very simple melody, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And um, as rudimentary as that is, it is the building block and the basis for, you know, uh, simple melodies like that are, are contained in the most complex symphonies. You, you can take a, a piece of sheet music and look at it, and I can actually take these notes that are here, and I could find a, a, a sequence of notes like that someplace in there. I mean, it's everything from, from Mary Had a Little Lamb to Twinkle a Little Star to almost any little, you know, nursery uh, uh, rhyme ditty sure. is found in little pieces in, in, through, through the most complex music. So it's the building blocks of, of a more complex you know, uh, um, music. So you start out with simple melodies like this, and eventually you 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 start to, you know, put them all together, and you become much more proficient in playing harmonica. So, why don't you go ahead okay. and play it? All right. Well, am I learned. holding it correctly? Actually, yes. is this how you hold yes, it? Yes. You want to have the numbers uh, uh, up facing you. Okay. You want to have the low number starting with one over, you know, to the far left. Okay. And um, you, so you want to go ahead and just just play a little bit, and then okay. I'll tell you. Uh, I'll, I'll critique you afterwards and, and okay. give you some tips. Is that okay. the right way to hold it too? Yes, she's got it. She's got it right. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's go. <laughs> hold on. I have to lean back a little bit here.
There you go. Well, the, the first thing I, I can help you with is, is uh, one of the very fundamental lessons that you need to learn is that to get single notes without slurring one or, or two or, or three notes. Now, because of the way the harmonica is set up, you know, you can get these chords that, are, that will work perfectly. I mean, it, it was clear mm -hmm. the melody that you, were, you, that you were sounding out. But the, the idea in order to become more proficient and to be, get, get better at playing harmonica is to get single clear notes. So that's one of the things you would have to, to, to do is just pucker up a little more and, and try. And a lot, of, a lot of times what I, you know, uh, you, I, you know, you see right now you're hitting two, okay. uh, a couple of notes there. That's better. You got one note right there like that. And that's what you want to do. You want to practice, you know, really concentrate on just trying to get one note, not trying to get several notes. Now, several notes, you want to, later on, you know, those are chords. Mm -hmm. and, and later on, you, you want to use chords. Okay. But, but in the very beginning, you want to learn to try to get single notes, okay. clear cut tones without, without slurring any other notes. And right. that, that would be the best tip I can give you for right now. No, that's good. Yeah, I that, mean, when I played the viola, we had to learn one, you right. know, one note at a time. Exactly. And then you do chords. Okay, well, great. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Any other suggestions? Well, you know. Uh, uh, practice, it, practice, practice. That, there you go. I can't do like eight hours a day like you Well, you know what? The, you know, but even if you did, you know, a half an hour a day, 15 minutes a day, that's all it really takes. You know, I mean, it, it's like anything, you know, it, you, the more you put into it, the better you get at it. I don't care what it is you, you okay. choose, whether you're trying to play trumpet or, or guitar or whatever. It's, it's, it's about the time you spend with it. Okay. The more time you spend, the more proficient and the better you'll get. And then how will I know when it's time to, like I have a, another one. Mm -hmm. It's in a different, it's an A. This mm -hmm. is a D. Mm -hmm. I mean, why do well, I need two? Well, because, well, for the same reason that, uh, well, as I said earlier, that we have, uh, I have all these different keys mm -hmm. because we play in different keys and, and, and I sing in different keys. Okay. And so um, that's why you have, you, you, you're starting out with two, which is a really great start. And those are really good harmonicas, by the way. Um, so, so now you can Thank play you. in two different keys, and, okay. and, and that's a good start to, to, to your harmonica collection, because eventually, you know, if you get serious, you know, you want to have several in different keys, okay. so this way you can play, it, it, once you get good enough, you can start to play with maybe a guitar player, and the guy might be playing in G, and you want to be able that's to have right. a C harmonica or, or, what, or a G harmonica in order to accompany him. Okay. So. Yeah, that's good. That's helpful. Yeah. Excellent. So maybe we could start practicing together. Don't you play the guitar when I get... Better? No, no I would love drums. to play the guitar. Oh, that's right. You're a drummer. I forgot. I play drums. Okay. <laughs> but we could still do that. Sure. Absolutely. I, can you do that? What? With the duo? A drummer and a harmonica player? Oh, you could do anything, anything. you want. Yeah, anything with matter. a drummer and a harmonica player. You could have taiko drums and do it. it <laughs> Absolutely. <don't matter>. Okay. <laughs> So how about a, a little more, just, just another little snippet of a lesson. You got anything else you've learned? Well, you know, I, there's something else I can, I, I can teach you right now. Yeah, is, please. Is, oh, okay. is your hand, you know, where your hand is, is you know, it just, just for, for, for the effect, just to kind of get used to it. You know, you could just, just take, take your hand and put the other hand here. Oh, okay. okay. I'm actually going to use the A. I was using okay, the grab D before. The a. Okay, That's fine. Let's switch it up since okay. I have two. Okay, and just, just draw in, uh, just, or blow on the note. Okay. It doesn't matter if you do several notes. Okay, now what you do is just go like this and just do. Okay. There you go. Wow, look so at that. That, that that's that's just another effect you can do. See now. And what's you, that called? It's that's just called a well that's just called a, a hand waver <laughs> oh, I guess. Okay. But see, I I can get single notes and go if I draw in. You can hear. Listen how, how cool the sound I can get. So. Or I can slap it and go, oh. or almost has like a chorus effect to it, you know. So there's three different positions you can put your hand in Jeez. and get different sounds. So now with all this blowing and breathing and in and out and in and out, uh, we've got a second uh, a segment uh, that works with the uh, the hospitals. Well, we have a roll in um, from a local community here. It's called um, a Channing House in Palo Alto. It's actually a living community for seniors. And the group that we're about to see, they're 80 years old or wow. older. I think the oldest harmonica or harp player is 90 years old. Oh, bless his soul. I know. Or no her kidding. Soul. So let's, let's watch it.
Okay, Dorothy, I'm with you, and we'll try this direction. How's that? I don't want to stand in front of you. Hi, Sounds Dorothy. Fine. Hi, how are you? Good. So th that was Old Lang Syne, and for he's a jolly good fellow, correct? That's right. And you have something, sp well, special. You have CO. PD. Can you tell the audience what that is? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, but everybody calls it COPD. Uh -huh. All the ads on TV call uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. And it's a lung disease. It's a lung disease, yes. And how does playing the harmonica impact that? It helps you force air out and in, of your, in, in your lungs because you're going <laughs> like that. So it forces you to go force air out and then get air back in. Ah, A good exchange of air in your lungs. A good exchange. Better than you would normally. Right. And so is that helpful for your lungs? Yes. That's mm -hmm. really cool, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. It's and, great. And how do you like playing with all these guys? Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. that's good. So yeah. you get... We have a good time. You get good breathing and you have good people you're surrounded with. You can't with. beat that. Yeah, that's good. And do you have a favorite song? Yes, I like Shenandoah. Ah, I don't think you're playing that today, but we'll hear it. No, song. we're not. Okay. Well, nice to talk with you. Good to talk with you. All right, carry Thanks on. Thanks Uh-huh. We don't have to look far for inspiration. Right down the road, we have the Channing House. That's very cool. You know, and then... The, um, she was correct in saying, you know, that uh, the, the, the whole idea of harmonica playing is really, it's, 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 it's about air control and, um, and diaphragmic breathing. Uh, even if you don't know you're doing it, as you start to progress in playing harmonica, you start to naturally do diaphragmic breathing, where your mm -hmm. diaphragm is pushing the air in and out, and, um, uh, which, which actually simplifies playing. You know, uh, because, you know, uh, uh, when you're beginning, there's a lot of, you're, u you're using a lot of different air, right? You know, you're using, a, you're wasting a lot of air. But that's good for this mm -hmm. because they, they want to breathe deeper and they want to exhale deeper. I think it's, it's pretty neat, too, because if, if I could have had, I had lung surgery myself. Oh. Um, and they had, they weren't doing that type of therapy, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff they were doing was pretty medieval. Oh. <laughs> that would have been pretty neat. Did they bleed you? <laughs> uh, just about. It wow. would have been a better healing process. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if somebody handed me a harmonica, I would oh, yeah. have wanted to breathe rather than... Certainly, certainly. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, I mean, it, I can see where the benefits, you know, uh, it's, it's obvious to me the benefits of, of playing harmonica. Yeah. Uh, um, and, um, yeah, but as time goes on, you know, you, you, you learn to control that air better and, and, and you become, uh, uh, the, the air becomes more focused, you know. It's still, uh, it's still breathing in and out. That's the unique thing. It's the only instrument that you breathe in and out in order to get to, to play. It's the mm. only instrument that does that. That's true. I never thought that of that. That is true, actually, because you're... Breathing in, right. breathing out. Right. Yeah, you can't play a, an in note on a saxophone. Yeah. No, you can't That's do true. it. Interesting. Maybe you can. I don't yeah. know. I haven't <laughs> seen anybody do it yet. <laughs> Very cool. So tell us about your um, your latest CD. Take me with you. Yes, take me with you. Uh, that was uh, you know it's it's been a it's been a few years now since I put it, but it's it's my latest. You know, I haven't been as active. As I was, you know, uh, you know, I uh, I got a day job now, and uh, so that takes yeah. up a little more of my time. But I love playing, and uh, I, I look forward to any opportunity to play. So Good. mostly, speaking mm -hmm. of that, I hate to cut you off. We, That's right. we got to have you play some more because we're about ready to close the show. Um, this is Andy Santana, Christina Kahn. I'm George Brando. Thanks for joining us tonight, and um, we're going to let Andy just go ahead and do his thing. Okay. And uh, thanks for joining us. <laughs>